Hello everyone, welcome to Manikandan Academy. In this video, let us look at self-finance private medical colleges in Tamil Nadu, its seat distribution and possible predictions for this year. So let's get started. Now let us look at self-financing private medical colleges in Tamil Nadu. The first one here is Annapurna Medical College and Hospital and the intake here is 150. Second, Arunai Medical College and Hospital, Mathur, Tiruvannamalai. Here the intake is 150. Likewise, you can see the colleges and its intake on the screen. So overall, there are 26 private colleges in Tamil Nadu, including three private universities, which are Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan Medical College, Srinivasan Medical College and Sri Venkateshwara Medical College. So in all, the total private seats in Tamil Nadu are 4,100. Next, let us look at seat distribution. So here, there are total private colleges in Tamil Nadu 26 and total number of seats available are 4,100. There is no All India quota. Hence, all the seats are under state quota itself. Coming to private colleges, there are two types of private colleges. One is private non-minority and private minority. Let us look at private non-minority. Here, the total number of seats available are 2,150. Here, for state government, the reservation is 65%. As per that, the total seats available is 1,397. Under management quota, it is 20%. So, the seats available are 430. For NRI, 15% accordingly, there are 323 seats. Coming to private minority, the total number of seats available is 1950. Under state government, 50% is the reservation. So, likewise, 975 are the seats available. Coming to minority, 35% is the reservation. Seats availability is 683. For NRI, reservation is 15% and the seats available is 292. Next, let us look at special allocation for state government quota self-finance. Here, under 92.5% general quota, including both minority and non-minority, the total number of seats available is 2194. And under 7.5% government school students quota, including both minority and non-minority, the total number of seats available is 178. Now, let us look at category-wise distribution. Now, here within 92.5% general quota, as we have seen, the total number of seats available is 2194. Coming to the first one, OC category, the reservation is 31% and total number of seats available is 680. And for BC category, the reservation is 26.5 and seat available is 581. Now, let us look for within 7.5% government school student quota. Here, the total number of seats available is 178. Coming to the first one for OC category, the reservation is 31% and the seat available is 55. For BC category, as per the reservation percentage, that is 26.5, that number of seats available is 47. Now, let us look into BC category and see how the seat allocation would happen at the time of counselling. Under 92.5% quota, as we have seen for OC category, as per its reservation, there are 680 seats. For BC category, as per its reservation, there are 581 seats. Now, let us take an example. Say, suppose within this 680 seats, if there are 50 BC students who have got the seats through OC category, they will get the seat, but there will be an impact on the ranking of BC, wherein it will extend by this 50, making it available at 631. Likewise, now let us take an example for 7.5% quota. As per the reservation for OC category, the number of seats available are 55 and for BC category, the number of seats available is 47. So now let us suppose that within this 55, if there are 10 BC students who have got the seat through OC category, there will be an impact on the rankings of BC, wherein it will extend by this 10, making it available at 57. So this is something which is very important to understand how the scenario would be at the time of counselling. Hello everyone, I am Chandra from Government Ayurveda Medical College. I am always thankful to Manikandan Academy and SKR sir who is the best motivator. He is so friendly with everyone and motivated us during our low times. These were very helpful in understanding concepts and clearing doubts. 
daily tests and weekly mock tests help be expert in every chapter. So, hostel ambience and classrooms were very peaceful that reduced my stress level. And th- once again, thanks to Manikandan Academy for my achievement. Now, let us look at possible predictions for both 92.5% and 7.5% quota in private colleges for this year. Now, coming to the first one, that is OC category. In the year 2023, the cutoff was 519. In the year 2024, the cutoff was 606. If we take the average of both the years, it comes to 563 and the percentage is 78.1. Now, this year we know how the difficulty was. Round about 30 questions were of abnormal difficulty level. Even if we consider 25 out of it, that is considering 155 questions, the total marks would come to around 620. Now, considering the same percentage, but for the total of 620, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 484 plus or minus 10. Now, let us look at BC category. In the year 2023, the cutoff was 498. In the year 2024, it was 583. If we take the average of both the years, it comes to 541. Percentage is 75. And with the same percentage, but for the total of 620, we can predict the score somewhere around 465 plus or minus 10. Now let us look at 7.5% quota. For OC category, in the year 2023, the cutoff was 490. In the year 2024, it was 524. The average of both the years is 507. Percentage 70. With the same percentage, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 437 plus or minus 10. Coming to BC category, in the year 2023, it was 475. In the year 2024, it was 505. Average 490. Percentage was 68 and with the same percentage, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 422 plus or minus 10. So this was just a prediction from our end. You can consider plus or minus 10 in this. It was a small effort from our end to reduce your stress level. For more information about other categories, follow our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.